Anime Showdown just released their first week balance changes. And um, I'm here to show you guys. Um, uh, the balance changes are a little... Um, We'll, we'll get there when we get there, okay? First, um, before I give any opinions on the balance changes, I'll um, I'll just show you guys the balance changes first. Oh, also, I just noticed they finally made Ukiyo's wings um, flap now. Before, they would just be straight. Now, they actually flap, which is... I love that. I love that. As you guys know, I'm Ukiyo main, so... Yeah, so let's go into the balance changes, and I'm gonna show, uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna see what they're like. So as you can see right here, week one patch, right? We got the bug fixes, um, the bug fixes and quality of life changes. I'll talk about that later. Um, he he summarizes it later, but what we're really we what we really care about is the week one balancing right here. Focus on the major issues and nitpicks. Major wait, focus on the major issues, the nitpicks slash specific details, as in like. He focused on like the general idea of character, like what like general changes characters needed, other than um, like rather than uh, what you would call it, like little specific details that people didn't like. So um, I'm gonna go through these very 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 quick. Okay, so I don't want to waste you guys' time. So let's go through these very 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 quick. Okay, so first thing here, I see that this right here, this is the the one attack on Ichigo. Um, it is no longer combo starts anymore. Which I think is good because it used to be really OP. The fact that it could combo start it used to be really OP. So now instead, um, it doesn't combo start anymore, but it, they they buff the damage and now it breaks hyper armor, which is pretty good. Another thing I noticed right here, they increased Vegeta's high speed rush evasive by two times. Vegeta used to give like no evasive. Like you could do some crazy combos with him and they would barely get any evasive. Um, another thing I noticed is Ukyo Ur right here. Um, they increased which we call it here they increased awakening gain in base right so like you know you, you don't it doesn't take as long to gain awakening but if i go if you show if i show you right here um i was off camera i was testing this real quick i was checking um now with the new balance stages how long does it take for ukiura to get um her mode i mean his mode oh my god I, you guys were um, um you, you guys were cutting my ass last video when um i said uh each, uh what you call it uh Ukiura was a girl, or I kept calling Ukiura she. So um, I remember, I know now. Okay, it's a he. Um, but yeah, I checked, and it takes 345 damage to get um his mode from my from my uh, experiments, which is still not very good. Um, I don't know how much it takes for other characters, but I know that usually for other characters you can get two kills and a little bit more damage, and they get their mode, which is not fair for Ukiura. Um. 345 damage is still a crazy amount. I believe before it used to be like 365 or 375 damage that you need to get, which was absolutely absurd. That's like th like more than three kills that you need to get to um, get his mode. But now it's um, maybe like three kills, but I don't know. I, I still don't agree with that. I think the fact that Ukiyo has one of the worst modes in the game, and I stand on that, he, he does have one of the worst modes in the game, I think his mode deserves to be somewhat buffed in some way. I don't think I don't think it's fair that um, his buff his his mode still takes so long to get. But yeah, enough enough rambling about Ukura. I'm just very strongly opinion about Ukura because it's my main, and I think that uh, he's very underpowered compared to some of the new characters. But yeah, back to the balance changes. Um, another thing here, the right here, super elbow smash stops more immediately if you blocked or canceled it. Um, it was that was that's the rush move on Goku on in his base. Um, now. Before, if you blocked it, uh, he would just kind of slide away from you, and like you wouldn't really be able to like, like punish him before. But now, you know, he'll stop more immediately, so you can punish him. There'll be maybe some end lag, hopefully. Um, right here, they also increased tremor pulse by 0.2 seconds. People were complaining that it was impossible to react to um, the two. This is the TP move on hit. Um, people were complaining that it was it, it's super impo it, it was impossible to react to in their in their opinion. Um, t for me, it wasn't really that hard to react to, and it's not—it's—it's it's not much of reacting, more of predicting. Um, because you're not gonna react to this; you're gonna predict it. You're gonna predict that they're gonna use it and block. But I guess people don't like that, so pe they increase the wind up by 2.2 seconds, so people can react to it now. Right here, reactable now. Oh my god. Um, what else did they add? They made Epo give you more evasive in general, because Epo used to do some crazy combos, and you gain like no evasive. Um, Goku Black nothing really notable with goku black nelio this is a little interesting flash drive i believe that's a, her um like down slam move that she does doesn't super break anymore um but quick slash super breaks now i believe that's her rush move correct me if i'm wrong i think that's her rush move um so they basically removed one of her super breaks and added a super break so now um 
her super break isn't a combo a combo starter anymore. Before, if you flash drove, if you did flash drive and uh, what you would call it, broke their super armor, um, you were able to combo extend a combo start off that. Now you can't anymore. So I think that's a Nelio nerf. All in all, I think that's a Nelio nerf. I mean, these are also kind of some nerfs. Um, mob, nothing really uh, notable. Bambietta, cooldown increased, energy cost increased, um, just general, uh, what you would call it, nerfs. Blaze burn wind up increased by 0 0.3 seconds. Huge nerf. That is a huge nerf. This, this used to be pretty reactable in, anyways, but now it's like super, super reactable, like really reactable. Um, yeah, Blaze burn escape earn increase. I don't know what that means. Blaze burn knockback reduce. That might be a bad thing. It might be easier for people to combo extend. Might be a bad thing. Um, but yeah, Detroit Smash evasive gain increase. I think Deku needs to have some kind of like bigger nerf. The fact that you could just spam every attack he has and win games, I don't think that's very good. Um, he should have like some kind of end lag to his attacks or something if he misses or whatever. Um, maybe increase their thing, which we call it, increase their uh, uh, what, what, what am I trying to say? Increase their uh, energy cost. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the uh balance changes i'd say ichigo got nerfed i'd say vegeta got nerfed i'd say ulkiora got reworked i'd say uh goku got nerfed hit got nerfed ipo got nerfed goku black got nerfed neliel got reworked mob uh mob got reworked as well and bombietta got nerfed and deku got nerfed so a lot of nerfs not many buffs in this up in, in this balance I'd like to see some more buffs in the future for future balances if um you know if people even care about my opinion if if the devs even care about my, my opinion but i would like to see some more buffs um maybe to people like like jojo and like i don't know just people i want to see buff like asta maybe asta is very underpowered as well you know i i'd say focus less on um nerfs focus more on buffs in my opinion now the other things added in this balance patch um, ranked is more reliable. Um, ranked was very buggy before. You would have to wait like two minutes um, when you get in the lobby with someone. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that. Gonna get into detail with that, but yeah, ranked was buggy. Ranked Elo being way less harsh. Um, if you guys look right here in um, CC General, uh, <laughs> this is this is what I said when I saw that Ukiura's, um thing got nerfed. Um, her uh, beam got nerfed in her mode. Nerfing the worst mode in the game is crazy. It is crazy. Um, but uh, what you call it? Uh, right here, I said 100. This guy said 130 elo. Oh, Nasu, right here. Nasu, 130 elo to 89 off just one loss, which is kind of crazy. So I said, yeah, this, yeah, it's some bullshit. I said the elo system is is just discouraging to play. I don't feel like playing ranked because I know if I lose once, I'm gonna lose hours of progress. So ranked was very unrewarding for your wins. You would barely get rewarded for your wins, but you would get penalized like crazy for your losses. So um, I think. It's good that they they fix that. Um, balancing will continue. Yeah, we, saw, we just saw the balances. Lag issues. A lot of people are complaining that um, their games would lag when like you know certain attacks are used, like um, Ulkior's base beam and any other beams, and a lot of other attacks that just have a lot of damage indicators. A lot of them would drop FPS, and people complain about that. They apparently fixed it or majorly improved it. Um, and yeah, a few major bugs fixed. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the balance change. I'd say all in all, if I were to give it like a rating out of 10, I'd say it's like maybe like a 7 out of 10 bounce. No, 6 out of 10 just because I don't like what they did with Ulkiora. Um, obviously, I'm a little biased just because I'm an Ulkiora main, but still, I just feel like objectively Ulkiora is still very underpowered. And the fact that they actually nerfed a lot of Ulkiora, evasive increased, evasive increased, evasive increased, I don't agree with that. I think... I think it was fine the way it was. I, I think I think he was fine the way it was. Um, I think he deserves some buffs at least. I think his base was fine, and I think his mode needs to be buffed in some way. But I guess not. I guess they decided that his mode actually needs to be nerfed, which is um, a little a little interesting. But yeah, besides that, I think I think it's a it's a decent balance patch. I mean, it could always be better. You know, anything could always be better. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.